And so, um, uh, you know, these people are, are trying to make ends meet, more people in the family go to work, the kids, you know, help out and all that stuff. Meanwhile, a lot of you join the ranks of the wealthy every year. So we've got this illusion, you know, everybody believes in the Horatio Alger story, that, oh, look, that guy got rich this year. And meanwhile, there's millions of people that are going, you know, they're going backward on the economic spectrum. Also, in addition to this, unemployment and underemployment are kept hidden from public view. And that's because, no matter what, somebody has to pay the accumulating interest. You have to keep the uh, productive portions of the group um, working uh, harder and harder to pay that on pair of, and here's another um, slide um, showing what's happening now. The governments are bowing down to um, the banking system and what I call the man-made god of uh, madmen, uh, you know, from ancient Babylonia. The bankers are telling you, the golden cap, that's your, um, your god. Meanwhile, families um, are uh, going, uh, don't have access to God given plane. Okay, guess what? We're going to look at new liberty. I also cover new liberty in a little bit more detail in the book. What is new, new liberty? That's our new country. We're going to have a new country, new liberty. They're going to operate under the debt free money system. Oh. And that's going to be subject to the, uh, the law of money equals. Treasury expenditures, E, plus debt, okay? That's that equation. So the money supply is always greater than the debt. Um, and that means there's no accumulating unpayable interest. There is interest, but there's no accumulating. The money supply is always sufficient to pay that interest when you need to take out a loan. So most money is going to be created in this system um, as debt in the form of uh, the formula I have worked out is at least half uh, of the money that's created in any given year is going to be created by local and state governments, school districts, and so forth, who tell the Treasury, the citizens have said, we want to build a new town hall, we want to hire more policemen, you know, we want to do whatever, and so we're going to authorize our local government to tell the Treasury uh, we want to create you know, X million number of dollars, and we've authorized, we're going to pay a tax, say for 10 years, of X number of dollars, and that means that that debt interest rate will be paid off in 10 years, and we'll own that town hall, free and clear. That's not what's happening now, because we've got all these partner, public, public private partnerships, governments tell us they're in debt. If you look at the capital reports, maybe that's not true. Um, okay, so it's money is, most, most of the money is, going to be created, at least half the money is going to be created as interest-free loans to state and local governments. So they're interest-free, they spend them into the local economy, and they're, they're created in response to the local citizens authorizing a project at the local level. They want a road build, they want a bridge, whatever. Okay, and then the second issue, now some people disagree with this, I don't. Uh, but interest loan, uh, bearing loans to independent, privately owned banks. This, they're divorced from the fractional reserve system. Um, totally, they're just small operations locally owned. Not what we have now. So they're not connected to fractional reserve. Um, the money that's created by all of these loans comes through private or local demand, not from the federal government, and that moves the power back to the people at the local level. An equal or smaller amount of money is created by the Treasury for needed, achievable, and duly authorized federal level pro uh, public projects. Um, and that money, again, is represented by E in the equation, government expenditures. Um, and that means the total money supply is made up of debt plus expenditures, Treasury the federal expenditures, OK? Um, so extinguishment, how did that come in? Well, under the formula M equals E plus D, the federal expenditure is going to, that's what has to be extinguished because when the loans are repaid, the money is extinguished. But the federal expenditures don't have that mechanism. They're just spending money to maybe build, create a national health care system or a public education, let's say, whatever it is. Um, it has to be extinguished some way. And I'm just using an example just to give you an idea. 
It's going to be extinguished first by interest revenues from the private banks because the banks, when they need excess, they can't do the fractional reserve. If they need excess uh, money to, you know, to create the local economy, create loans for the demand that they have, um, then they can borrow from the federal government at interest. So that's calculated every year, and that interest can be used to extinguish part of the federal expenditures, you know, what the federal government is spending. Taxes will not be used to finance federal level public pro uh, projects or government operations, although they might be needed temporarily in situations that might occur when interest rates or other fees um, alone aren't sufficient uh, to manage the flow of money, of money in and out of the system. Um, so there's a lot of ways that the government operated prior to the income tax law, but uh, you know, ta taxes and tariffs you can look at the Constitution for logical um, uh, constitutional methods for extinguishing this money. That's not the purpose. I'm just trying to show you how uh, extinguishment could occur with these um, expenditures. So um, the money, again, created for the loans D um, uh, are, and the banks together are going to be extinguished as the loans are paid off. Transparency here is key in this system. Again, any move by Congress to increase the ceiling interest rates to the banks or if they try to impose new taxes or other fees, um, gives us an automatic signal, a signal that they're putting too much money in creation, into creation and the system is out of balance. Again, all of, the, all of this is governed by monetary principles and a set of principles and simple math formulas that can be codified into law. In New Liberty, let's look at what happens. Over the past four years, New Liberty Congress has been authorized by the citizenry, all of us, um, to have the Treasury create money for a health savings account for each citizen who will then be able to decide for themselves their health care plan. I'm into natural health and it's one of the reasons why I supported Dennis Kucinich and his health care plan so ardently was because he, that plan, unlike any other, um, uh, uh, provided for uh, freedom of choice of the provider, freedom of choice of treatment, including natural remedies and supplements. Anyway, um, as one option in this situation, the federal government will offer a health care plan based on the old Medicare system with freedom of choice of provider, freedom of choice of treatment, uh, including natural therapies and supplements. And if you get a chance, look at the video of me this morning so you see what I'm talking about there because I, I really don't think that this might work or be the best for us. The money created anyway for this project is partially um, extinguished through the interest revenues, again, received from the banks. Um, who have uh, loaned money, or borrowed money from the Treasury. Um, but then um, there's still some money, you know, that may not be extinguished through this. So guess what? Maybe we have to find another method. Well, we've got a separate federal project that the Congress has been authorized by citizens um, to reclaim the public airwaves uh, and they repurchase space where necessary. And then the fees, the licensing fees or whatever, that are received by the Treasury um, from the commercial media outlets are going to be used to ext uh, extinguish the remainder of money from the, um, the uh, health program that was uh, installed. And at the same time, airtime will be provided free to public groups, civic leaders, and politicians. Obviously, I'm dreaming here, but hey, why not? Um, well, this is the way it should be. The public, the airwaves are ours. They're not um, uh, the product of time born. Right. No, they belong to us, and it's um, it, it's up to us uh, whether we are, are to grant them licenses to use our airwaves, not the other way around. Okay. Finally, all federal subsidies and income taxes are going to be phased out. Um, income taxes. There's a big argument on that. I can give you some research, but it, basically, the the way it's being used now is unconstitutional and probably. Um, Underhanded. Well, I just leave it there. However, our income taxes are being used. Right. Um, however, the citizens of New Liberty recognize that the small family farmer, my special love, is the principal resource and wealth of a nation. And that's to borrow Adam Smith's um, terminology um, when he talked about the small farmer. Um, so the citizens have agreed to a small, temporary federal consumption tax on all new non essential items, basically an excise tax on specified items which will be used to um, help small family farmers engage in organic farming and build local 
marketing networks for organic and locally produced artisan projects. Small farmers actually provide four or four jobs per farm. And you don't need these massive agribusiness farms to create high quality food. In fact, you need small farms to create high quality foods. Okay, we've got new liberty wealth creation continuing. It doesn't end there. So the several states and local governments have also embarked on a variety of projects, public work projects, um, with their citizens at the local level. Um, and uh, they, these citizens authorize special temporary taxes for whatever projects they want put in place. Their school district wants a new building, whatever product, things that they want put in place. The federal government has no say in these projects, none whatsoever, other than providing the money. And of course that money is created interest-free by the Treasury or the Monetary Authority, and then it's extinguished, it needs to be extinguished by the Treasury um, uh, when the local uh, taxes, the locally authorized taxes or other fees are received. Okay, so the, the local citizens say, look, you know, we'll do a city tax um, for X number of years and X number of money to pay for this, and in 10 years that tax goes away. Um, so once these projects are, are paid for, they become debt-free assets, wholly owned by the local citizenry. And some of these assets uh, actually can be made self-sustaining through rental fees charged to commercial enterprises. Say commercial, in the, I give a, an example of Guernsey, they decided to build a town square, a town market, and um, the government to, uh, um, decided to maintain it and maybe to earn a little revenue, and Franklin used this too, uh, on the side, they charged the, uh, the businesses rent to use the, the, mar the uh, space. And that was an income that would be used to extinguish that original loan and also create a method for um, maintaining the building and operating the government. Um, anyway, banks under this system no longer operate under a fractional reserve deposit expansion system. They become independent enterprises. But like everybody else, they can only use US legal tender. Um, they can't create money, it has to be debt free, authorized and uh, put into circulation by the monetary authority. Um, but that's no problem because citizens and local governments no longer burdened by unpayable debt have begun to save and many borrow now for legitimate purposes rather than just to finance growing debt. So the businesses always are into debt. Um, I mean, that's why they talk about leverage and so are we when we go for a mortgage and, and lots of other things. Um, Again, should an individual bank experience a temporary shortfall, it always has the, the, the treasury or monetary authority to fall back on. It can borrow um, at, at uh, the interest rate, the ceiling interest rate. This